everybody. This is Kevin Scare from FoxForce5News.com, and welcome to another edition of Metal Comic Reviews. This week we're going to talk about The Weatherman, issue one from Image Comics. Um, this comes to us from writer Jody Lehu. Sorry if I mispronounced your last name there, buddy. Um, and artist Nathan Fox, colorist Dave Stewart. Um, the Weatherman is a story set on Mars. Yes, they finally terraformed Mars so that humans could live there. So way down the road in the future, we have the hilarious uh, Nathan Bright, who is an enigmatic and comedic weatherman who makes outrageous jokes on live TV and winds up being targeted for the worst terrorist attack in the history of humanity, um, but more on that later. So issue one takes its time introducing us to Nathan, um, his adorable dog and girlfriend, I guess, maybe not really. And we get to see why the people of Mars uh, love his colorful weather segments on the news. And at one point, he even tries to breastfeed a baby for no particular reason, but I found that hysterical. Um, and while this is all coming together, we see hints that Earth um, was destroyed and people are pretty depressed about the situation. And then we also cut to some bounty hunters or assassins of some kind who are seemingly targeting Nathan. Uh, this all culminates in a shocking and incredible burst of action and violence to conclude an extremely strong debut issue uh, from the writer of Shirtless Bear Fighter, aka a book I missed out on I seriously need to pick up right away. Um, artist Nathan Fox um, has pulled off an admirable job here, creating a Mars that looks like a viable place to live, and his characters exude personality and really pop off the page. Uh, Dave Stewart's colors are always terrific, and that's no different here. Uh, there's this one two-page spread near the start of the issue where we see this uh, R.I.P. Earth Memorial, and it's one of the most stunning art pieces I've seen in comics so far this year. Uh, the action was exciting and extremely shocking. Uh, without giving it away, I have to admit that I was really disturbed and crushed near the end of this issue. Uh, overall, The Weatherman is a stellar debut from a creative team that really works well together, and I'm excited to see how this series retains a comedic edge after such a nasty conclusion in issue one. Or maybe it won't be funny anymore. I don't know. I do know that I am hooked, and I want more, though. So I give The Weatherman, issue 1, 4.5 out of 5.